guy is calling. Hey, <laughs> no talking. Shh. While recording. Hey guys, Colin Stuckard here, back for another Wild Tribe chat. We're here with Bailey. In fact, why don't you guys introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Bailey Mullins, the host of the Mindless Millennials podcast. Where can they find you? Do that, your social? And um, you can find the podcast at, at @mindlesspod on Instagram and Facebook, and then on iTunes, Spotify, all the rest. I'm Ezekiel Price, and I'm trying to get started. So you, <laughs> we we threw you in here because Jamie was called you out saying you want to start a YouTube, but she, her exact words were you're nervous. So what does she mean by that? Because that's her interpretation. Well, you just when, want to get started, but you haven't done it yet. So, you know, tell, tell us what you're thinking. Yeah, when you want to get started, you start thinking like, well, when, when you want to take something serious, you start like, well, how do you deal with Where do I start? Viewers? How what, do you deal what with... What I talk about? Yeah. How do you even narrow down your content? How do you know what's going to hit, what's not going to hit? Mm -hmm. Like... What are your interests? What do you what do? you do? Well, I travel a lot. Okay, so there you go. I mean, everyone loves watching people travel. Everyone loves watching people live awesome lives that they wish they could live themselves. So you can always <laughs> use that aspect of it. But what do you? That what seems what else? Easy. Are you? Do you do business marketing? I mean, what do you? What else is? Uh, I'm a network engineer, but it's a little bit more fun than it sounds. Uh, so I'm gonna look a little guru, so I just go around and fix people's stuff. But uh, I get to travel around everywhere, and so. Uh, so you work on networks? Yeah. Like computer networks? Yeah. There's got to be something there, like network engineer vlog, right? Tips for being a network engineer. Tips for how to go to school to become a network mm. engineer, right? Bailey, what else? What do you got? Tell them, uh, tell them about- Podcast about, ne about networking or something. Sure, and, and the people you meet. So like, tell them about some of the like interactions that you have like randomly. I mean, I meet new people every day. So I never go to the same place twice. Well, maybe, but not that often. And so uh, I meet new people. I have to solve like different little problems. Uh, Pieces of the puzzle, like every time I go into it, every time I go into different you, companies. Is it like corporate like that. clients, business clients? Or? Uh, yeah, it'll be like retail stores. It'll be like somebody's office, somebody's uh, storefront, or something like that. So much vlog opportunity, right? I mean, what do you, yeah. Bailey? What do you think? What, what sh should he do? Vlog? Should he do like talking heads like this? I mean, I think most YouTube channels would be a combination yeah. of all of it, right? And you would find out what your audience likes, but because there's something different every day now that I'm thinking about it. I yeah, think right. Different so, every day. and people want to watch that stuff. That's why vlogs are so popular. And I think you should start out, you know, doing the solo cuz you you got to gain traction that way. But I think you should have like a sidekick rolling with you doing the network engineering stuff with I should you bring and my filming sidekick. because you run into these interactions. If you're wearing a lapel mic the whole time, you can be documenting tons of like really cool experiences that you wouldn't necessarily be able to get if you're just holding up the camera yourself. Oh, I don't know. This guy over here, off-screen Logan Fusion Lean. <laughs> All he uses is this camera on auto with a mic, and he, I mean, I mean, it works he fine. sets it in Walmart. He'll walk up to the thing and like talk to the camera. Like, he, I think it takes some practice to get rid of that shame about doing that. But once you get to that point, like, it's <laughs> okay. amazing what you can that's do with what, the camera. That's like yeah. what trips me out too. Is how do people like just you just get used to it? You just get you used to it. it. <laughs> you have to, you know. Do y'all feel on like ninety percent of the time? Like y'all seem like y'all are on right now. Like, well, that's. Yeah. That's, that's part of it. That's the balance because yeah. you're always looking for opportunities to record, but then sometimes you got to just like live life. So, you know, some days I don't record at all because I don't want to think about it, right? But um, I like doing videos like this. This is cool because you yeah. can just bring someone in chat. Then you can do videos where like I'm talking on the camera, I talk about a product or whatever, and then I do vlogs. So it's like a combination. And sometimes I'm not in the mood to do a vlog, right? Yeah. So I just yeah. do something like this and I get my video done for the day, right? Mm -hmm. And then you listen to the comments, you listen to the feedback, and you, and you find out what people are liking and you just do more of that. Yeah. That's why I started out in podcasting because I didn't necessarily want to be walking around with a camera in my face mm -hmm. all day. But when I did start to do more mm -hmm. videography and camera, you know, vlogs and whatnot, I noticed like it actually enhances your day to day life because people are asking you questions. You know, people notice you when you're walking through a place and it just it leaves opportunity to maybe get away with things you weren't able to before. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I think it also forces you to just kind of look for opportunities to be more optimistic, mm. right? Like unless your channel's about being a negative Nancy, which most people probably wouldn't watch it anyways, watch. you're always looking for opportunities to like, what's something interesting I can do or say mm. or talk to or person or whatever. It does open you up a little bit, but the flip side of that is you get obsessed with it, right? right. And then like, and then you gotta balance like, well, I need to enjoy life at times and not just always be thinking about how I can get a shot or whatever. In fact, I was watching Gary V yesterday and he was talking about how like people will literally plan trips or plan their Saturday around what Instagram picture they can get. 
Mm. Like, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do Saturday so I can get a really good Instagram shot, wow. right? And that's when it gets into dangerous territory where yeah. you're, like, living your life for social validation, you know? <laughs> I'm pointing to this guy over here, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I at the end of the day, I've been doing YouTube for, you know... I mean, know, that's how you get your adventure in, and that's how you get your adventure in. Yeah, I'm, no, and it's I'm a balance. I'm an adventurous person, so right. I, I could definitely see that. I think it helps you get outside of your comfort zone because, like... I could just focus and work all day and close the door. So I think sometimes this type of stuff is really good for getting me outside, yeah. talking with people, whatever. Uh, but you know, you got to find your flavor, right? So we, mm. Bailey, we got to give him a call to action because he's not in his head. He likes what we're saying. He wants to do something. He feels that urge to do something, mm -hmm. right? What could we each give him a piece of advice to help kind of get him started? I would just say get it started. Yeah, you know, just do it. Some people like want you to plan everything out, and yeah. in, in my opinion, there's there's a piece of that that's good. There's a piece of like, okay, plan, make sure that your content is quality, your first thing that you put out, setting the standard, but ultimately, do it in the same week that you decide to start, you know? Do it, like I started my vlog the first moment I got my hands on the camera. Yeah. And I wanted to show that in the vlog so you can see, okay, you can make high quality content as soon as you get the mm -hmm. camera. Yep. And then continue after that. I haven't been, you know, pursuing the vlogs as much, but I will be in the future. But uh, I just wanted to get it started, get going right then, and not think about it. I just said right. the night before, I said, "Hey, I'm starting a vlog." And then that whole day, tell, told everybody, like, "I'm doing a vlog now. I'm on YouTube now." And then just continue doing it after that. So yeah, I think if you if you worry too much about planning and making it perfect, it's just resistance. Yeah. Right. That's why we have this setup here. Like, it literally took two seconds to get this video started. Right. I was like, sit here. Right. Record. Right. 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 If you and so that's why when you get a camera like what we got, like Logan's, this I have a smaller. It's I think it's a Canon M50 that has a little onboard mic that's set up ready to go. Amazing camera because you can literally vlog with it. You can put on a tripod. You just you get the camera and then you literally just practice recording. Yeah. And you find you find the angles. You find what you like saying. You find the things that work. I'm telling you, just and you, yeah, like you said, you just got to get going and start because. You don't have to post every video. Yeah. If you don't like it, yeah. like you can, it can just sit in your hard drive somewhere, or you can literally put it in the trash. And right? I, I do think there's a balance there because I don't know if L or Colin has mentioned it yet, but I'm just gonna spoil it if he hasn't. <laughs> We're thinking about starting a wild foods podcast. We're not thinking about it. We're, we, we are, are starting going it. To. So, uh, and I'm potentially hey, coming hey, in hey. as the producer for it. Um, so we're actually going to convert this place into a full-on functioning live stream studio with multi-camera angles. And so the difference is, yeah, you can start simple. So I can but have keep... my own camera? Yeah, yeah exactly. we're going to have like four cameras set up and okay. like mics and everything. So you, you know? could start simple by just camera. using a camera. Mm -hmm. And a mic. I guess we gotta go Ty Lopez up in here where we have Guys, eight, eight cameras hooked no, up no. to social channels. <laughs> like all set up streaming. We're gonna be like Gary uh, V. He literally is like, what's up, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. So finish what you're saying, Bailey. Dude, you're shut down. Yeah, so um, basically there's there's two avenues. There's two, there's a, there's it's 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 um, binary. So for one, you can go with one camera, simple setup, get started. I agree with that. But on the other hand, there's a value in having a full production lab for you to do really amazing things because the, the value in that is the environment in which cultivates the conversation, cultivates good content. So mm -hmm. when you're plugged in with headphones on and you have a microphone, all personal, you're in a shared environment that enhances what kind of conversations you can have and the actual energies within the room allow you to have much better conversations if mm -hmm. it's set up correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, hold on. The um, <laughs> we've invested into this. Sure. And we and like I was even telling you, like I want it to be simple. I want it to be set up right. That's why I'm like, like I'm bringing you on. This whole studio here was built out for the sole purpose of making it as easy and frictionless as possible, right? And so like right. for someone like him or anyone mm -hmm. that wants to start a channel, I th everyone should. I mean, start on your Instagram stories with your phone. Like you don't have to buy a vlogging camera. You literally have your phone, your iPhone iPhone or whatever, the Androids, they, they have amazing cameras, amazing, amazing yeah. mics. You can literally do, do, and that's how you practice and you learn, you learn what your message is going to be, you learn what content to do. And I think everybody should should really get out there and share something positive in the world, right? Like mm -hmm. put your small den in the universe. And so he's going to start on his phone and he's going to start easy and start vlog style. And then he's going to practice, practice, practice and iterate and iterate, iterate. And that's how he's going to grow it. Right. Yeah. And then next time he comes to wild studio, we're going to get a progress update from him. And his promise to the audience is that he's going to have at least 10 videos. Okay. So you better not come. Like that. You gotta, All right. Let's do it. 
All Give right. me at least two weeks. I'll come back within two weeks. So All otherwise, right. it won't have happened. So, okay, guys, thanks for watching. This is the Wild Tribe. Make sure you like and subscribe. These guys, all the sub subscription links and all that social stuff will be below. And I don't know what, then we got like a cool quote, tip, call to action, anything they want to give the audience today. Remember, this is a nutrition health focused show for the most part, but yeah. you know, we're also about life and personal development, you know, so just helping people be better. I say you're either channeling abundance or you're channeling destruction. So, uh, Ooh. <laughs> she's like, look at that. I say like you're either channeling abundance or you're channeling destruction. So, uh, you're really going in one way or the other. Scarcity or Abundant exactly. mindset, right? Wild exactly. tribe, is that what it is? Wild tribe, wild tribe, wild vibes. Oh, All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching and subscribe or or else.